Hi, I'm Paula McDowell and I'm at the Cool Tools Studio today and I want to show you how to make this great project a carved sea anemone. We're going to do ours in EZ960 and it has a great little gemstone. These are two other variants done in bronze clay with a rough peridot and a rough garnet. For this project you're going to need EZ960, a snake roller, a clay keeper, your micro rotary tool kit including your dental burrs, your dust shield, and your tidy tray. Also a work surface. So now I'm going to show you how to create the, the base form for the anemone. I've got about 25 grams of EZ960 here. I'm going to start it in a bit of a, a log. I'm going to take my snake roller. I'm going to start rolling this down. And I'm pressing on the one end so that I start to create a taper. And once I get to a nice shape, then I'm going to start coiling this around. Okay. And once I've got that coil, I'm going to take a little bit of water on my paintbrush and just go right around those seams. and then we're gonna let that dry. All right, so now we're ready to start carving. I've got my shield set up, I've got my tidy tray in place, and I've got my mask. In my rotary tool, I've got the largest ball burr. And I'm gonna go all the way to the top speed. And I like to start right in the very end and create the opening. And then I'm going to start going along the outside, placing holes in somewhat random patterns. In nature, the larger holes are going to be towards the outer edge. The smaller holes are going to be toward the inner edge. And as I work on this, what happens is the holes start to connect and more of the material starts to come out. That makes it lighter weight, and all this dust can be reconstituted. Once I have the large holes, I'll switch to smaller burr, and smaller all the way into the inner circle. So this piece has now been carved. I've got larger holes spiraling into smaller holes. And now I want to set a four millimeter stone into the opening. So I'm going to moisten the opening a little bit. Take a little bit of fresh clay. Pop it in that opening. And then I'm going to take the stone, point in, and press down till it's flush. All right. Now I've got my stone set in there. And the last thing I need to do is put on a bale. And I like to do a pinch bale. So I'm going to take just a little bit of clay and decide where my bale is going to be, how I want this to hang. On the back side, I'm going to moisten the clay. Take a little bit of this fresh clay. Press it on there and shape it. Make sure it's nice and adhered. Once it's dry, I'll come back with my rotary tool and I'll carve the opening for a chain or cord to pass through. So once the piece is dry and I've carved the bale, I'm going to fire this in the kiln at the regular Easy 960 schedule. So once this came out of the kiln, I brushed it and then I used uh, patina to create the dark and then used a rotary tool with a little fiber brush to remove some of the black. 
and now we've got a great little piece. And the same process can be used for all sorts of projects and all sorts of clays. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.